Hello everyone, how are you? I am your teacher Jem Raimon and this week we will discuss your module 2 in your Mathematics 6 quarter 4 and this module comprises of two lessons. The first lesson is about finding the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. The lesson 2 is entitled Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problem Involving Volumes of Solids. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. And welcome to our mathematics class. And our objective for this week is to find the volume of cylinders, pyramids, cones, and spheres. Let us discuss first the lesson 1 of your module 2. And let's answer this time the what I know part of your lesson 1 for your module 2. Direction. Solve for the volume of the following figures. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Use 3.14 for the value of pi when needed. Okay, let's start number 1. So I know you have the idea how to solve this because last week we had already started solving the different volumes of solid figures. Now this figure is obviously a cylinder and could you still remember the formula in finding the volume of a cylinder? Yes, very good. It's Volume equals pi r squared times height. You notice that we only need the radius and the height to get the volume of our cylinder. And our radius here is 10 centimeters. And our height here is 25 centimeters. Now, since we have the formula, we will substitute the given data in our formula. So obviously our pi here will be equal to 3.14. Substitute. Our r squared here will become, yes, that's 10 centimeters squared. And our height here is 25 centimeters. Now before multiplying all together, we will solve first this part because we have to solve the exponent first before anything else. So, copy first 3.14. Now, 10 centimeters squared is equal to how much? Yung 10 times 10 natin is equal to? Yes, that's 100. So, your centimeter here will become squared already. And then, you copy 25 centimeters. After that, you can Multiply it all together, okay? So the answer would be 7,850 cubic centimeters. This is found from 3.14 times 100 times 25. So the product of this given data here is equal to 7,850 cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter na to class kasi... Centimeters squared times centimeters, you will multiply, but then the exponent will just be added. So, 2 here, and then one, may 1 ito na exponent dito, then 1 plus 2 here will give you 3. That's why we have cubic centimeter as our unit for the volume. So, this is now the final answer. Get it? Number 2. What solid figure is that? Yes, that's a pyramid. But what kind of a pyramid? Yes, that's a square pyramid because our base here is square. That's why it is called a square pyramid. So can you still remember the formula in finding the volume of a pyramid? Yes, that's basically base times height divided by 3 or base area times height divided by 3. Paano natin nakuha yung 5 times 5 dito times 12? Yes, remember class, the area of the base here is 5 times 5. Okay, so that's why my 5 times 5 tayo dito. Yung height dito class 
is equal to 12. Okay, the base area natin is square. No? The area of the square. So, obviously, the formula in finding the area of the square is S times S, right? That's why 5 times 5 here is written here in the numerator part. Okay? And yung height natin is 12 decimeter. So, divided by 3. After that, you multiply 5 times 5. will give you... Yes, that's 25 square decimeter. Okay? Times 12 copy. No? And then, 25 times 12 will give you 300 cubic decimeter. And then, 300 divided by 3 will be equal to, yes, it's 100 cubic centimeter. So, ito na yung volume ng ating given pyramid dito sa number 2. Okay, let's have number 3. So, obviously, number 3 figure is a sphere. Now, can you still remember the formula in finding the volume of a sphere? Yes, very good. That's volume equals 4 third pi r cubed. Or, mas madali kung ito isulat natin siya class ng ganito. Yan. Same lang naman sila. Para mas madali nyong maintindihan. So, again, obviously, our formula here needs only the value of the radius. So, the radius here is 3 cm. So, we will substitute 3 dito sa radius natin. So, magiging 4 siya. Copy. Yung pi natin dito class magiging 3.14. At saka yung R natin dito becomes 3. And then cube natin ang, ang radius natin. Divided by 3. And after that, i-multiply muna natin ito. Kunin muna natin yung product nito. So, 3 times 3 times 3. Tatlong beses i-multiply yung 3. So, yung 3 times 3 class will give you 9. 9 times 3 will give you 27. So, that makes it 27. Yan. So, yung 3 cube natin dito will become 27 cubic centimeters. Copy lamang yung 4, yung 3.14, kopyahin din, at kopyahin din natin yung uh, denominator na 3. So, after that, pwede na natin itong i-multiply lahat, and will give you the product of 339.12 cubic centimeters, divided by 3, of course. And the quotient is 113.04 cubic centimeters. Ito na yung quotient natin class kapag three, ang 339.12 i-divide sa 3. So, ito na yung volume natin ng sphere. Okay, number 4. So, what shape is that? What figure is that? Yes, that's cone. So, cone is one-third of the volume of the cylinder. So, what is the formula in finding the volume of a cone? Yes, it's pi r squared times height divided by 3. Yung formula lang ng cylinder class, i-divide mo lang ng 3. Yan na yung formula ng cone. So, substitute natin. Yung r natin is 6 cm. Yung radius natin, yung height natin is 15 cm. I-substitute na natin lahat. Yan. Yung pi dito class, of course, can be converted to 3.14. Yan. Yung R natin dyan is 6 cm. Of course, may squared. And then, mga, ang height natin is 15 cm. Okay? So, after that, kunin muna natin yung product ng may exponent na part dito, which is 6 times 6. Now, ang ibig sabihin ng 6 cm squared is 6 times 6. So, 6 times 6 is? Very good. That's 36. So, yung cm dito, of course, cm times cm will give you squared centimeters. Pagkatapos nyan, class, i-multiply na natin yung 3.14 times 36 times 15 and it will give the product of 1,695.60 cubic centimeters divided by 3. So, kung i-divide na natin yung dalawang ito, class, ang quotient nyan ay magiging 565.20 cubic centimeters. This is your final answer now. Number 5. What shape is that? Obviously, that's spear. Very good. And again, can you still remember the formula in finding the volume of a spear? Good. That's 4 third pi r cube. Or, pwede rin isulat na ganito. Isa lang yung ibig sabihin yan. Or, same lang ang 
meaning ng dalawang formula na yan. Now, what is given here in our diagram is diameter. But we need radius no? para makuha yung volume niya. Kung ang diameter niya is 30 centimeters, now what is the radius of the sphere? Yes, half of that. Kalahati niyan. That would become 15 centimeters. So, ang gagamitin natin dito para for substitution is 15 centimeters. Yan. Kita? Good. Copy lang yung 4. Yung pi natin dyan, 3.14, yung radius natin is 15 centimeters. Got it? Good. And after that, you will multiply 15 3 times. No? 15 times 15 times 15. Because may cube tayo dito. Now, what's the answer? Yes, that's 3,375. So, 15 times 15 times 15 will give you 3,375. So, after that, i-multiply natin to 4 times 3.14 times 3,375 will give you the product of 42,390. Okay? And after that, kung i-divide natin ito sa 3, how much is the quotient? Very good. Yung quotient niyan is 14,130 cubic centimeters. At ito na yung volume ng ating sphere for number 5. This time, let us answer the what's in part of your module. Now, direction. Consider the box of words below and read the items that follow. Fill each blank in the items with the correct word phrase or expression found inside the box. Write your answers on your answer sheet. All you have to do is to get your answer inside the box. That's how easy to answer this item, this activity. Now, number one, the base of a cylinder or a cone has a blank shape. Ano yung shape ng base ng cone or cylinder? What's your answer for number one? Yes, it's circle. Circle ang base ng cylinder at own. Number two, blank are three-dimensional figures that enclose part of space. Number two is, ano kaya? Very good. It's solid figures. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures that enclose part of space. Number three, a blank is a set of all points in space that are the same distance from a given point called center. It's very good. It's a sphere. A sphere is the set of all points in space that are the, the same distance from a given point called center. Next, number four. A blank has one base. Its other face are triangles. Yes, it's pyramid. A pyramid has one base and its other faces are triangles. Number five, the volume of any pyramid is blank the product of the area of the base and its height. Yes, it's one third the product of the area of the base and its height. And number six, obviously that's volume. Volume is the amount of space it encloses. Number 7. A blank has two circular bases that are congruent and parallel. Very good. That's cylinder. Number 8. Some space figures have flat surfaces called? Yes, it's face. Number 9. A point where edges intersect is called blank. Very good. It's vertex. Number 10. A blank has one circular base and a vertex. Yes, it's a cone. Cone has one circular base and a vertex. Okay, hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class for the what I know and the what's in part of your module. We will continue discussing the other parts of the module in my next video lesson. For you to do that, pwede mong i-click yung link na sa ibabaw class para ma-panood mo yung part 2 ng aking video lesson for this week 2 module. Understood? Thank you so much. See you next time. 
Be safe, everyone.